Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements or other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs, and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it's just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to source for health information, for clear-cut, simple, easy-to-understand health information, because really the body is not that complicated, folks. Oh, yeah, you can go into the minutia. You can go into all the enzymes and the genetics and all of the molecular morphing that goes on in a cell trillions and trillions of times a second. But from a healing of disease or reversal of disease perspective, health is not complicated. It's very, very simple. And that's the good news. Let us share that with you if you have questions about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, nutritional supplements, prescription drugs, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have a uh, success story you'd like to share, we especially like hearing those. I heard a bunch of success stories last week. I, was, I, did, a, uh, I did a show in Toronto, and I also was on George Norrie. Some of you may have heard that. And and we have people calling up, and it just happens all the time, folks. This is not complicated, and it's so easy to reverse chronic degenerative disease. If you have a success story, please share it. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com and purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And don't forget to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, including our retinol 5% gel. All right, so we are talking about the skin. We've been talking about the skin for a while. Specifically, we're talking about the fatty components. Well, the fatty components of the body, the fatty nature of the body. There's a fatty nature to chemistry. There's a watery nature to chemistry. That's basically what chemistry is about, fats and waters. Fats and water, uh, fat soluble and water soluble. In, the ter- in terms of chemistry and nutrition and health, there's a fat-soluble nature to the body. There's a water-soluble nature to the body. The skin is predominantly a fatty structure, so fats become very important for skin health. Vitamin A, the quintessential, most important of all the skin vitamins. Vitamin C also in its fatty form. The ketogenic diet is a high-fat diet. We talked about that, not necessarily as it relates to the skin, although the ketogenic diet can have very important skin benefits if you're dealing with acne, for example. Ketogenic diet is a high-fat diet, moderate-protein diet, low-carbohydrate diet. It's a calm-the-body-down diet, basically. And because disease has an element of, of, uh, of hyperactivity, things moving too fast, slowing the body down a little bit can be very important. The ketogenic diet is a high-performance diet. It's an athlete's diet. It improves all physical functions. It's good for bodybuilders. It's good for weight loss. It's good for heart function. By the way, uh, uh, Longevity has a new ketogenic, a couple of new ketogenic products that you might want to look into. I think they will be released here sometime this week. A meal replacement drink and also a bar that function as low carb, uh, high energy, delicious tasting actually. Although I think they're a little sweet, but they're pretty tasty. Anyway, they induce ketogenesis. They induce ketone production in the body. The ketogenic diet is also the ultimate brain health diet. Oh, my God. If you're dealing with Alzheimer's disease or any dementia issues or or Parkinson's disease or any kind of nervous system issues, the ketogenic diet is unbelievably important for brain health. 
We talked about butter as a ketogenic food. Butter induces ketogenesis. It's got, uh, it actually has something in it, something called butyric acid, a short chain fatty acid that can be turned into a ketone. It's like a, a, a raw material for ketones. Butter is another one of those incredible foods that have been so maligned. I still see people eating margarine or, or Benacal or whatever these new, these new fake butter things they got that aren't as bad as margarine, but they're certainly nowhere near as good as butter. Butter, amazing stuff. Tasty, source of, uh, a source of vitamin A, a source of vitamin K, source of what I call the cholesterol complex, which includes A and K and lecithin. Lecithin itself is one of nature's most important, or, uh, one of nature's most important natural biochemicals. It's also an emulsifier. And speaking of cholesterol, we talked about the steroid hormones, particularly the main ones, testosterone, DHEA, progesterone, estrogen, cortisol, vitamin D. These are all cholesterol hormones. They're called steroid hormones, but I like to call them cholesterol hormones because that highlights the fact that these all are types of cholesterol. They're all derivatives of cholesterol, a tweak here, a tweak there, but they're basically cholesterol. The steroid hormones are the cholesterol hormones, and they're arguably the most powerful family of chemicals in the body. I say they are. I can't think of anything that's more important than the cholesterol hormones. And the fact that they're tweaked versions of cholesterol reveals this crazy, nonsensical, biochemical stupidity of the, the medical strategy, of the pharmaceutical, the pharmacomedical meme belief that somehow we are better off by shutting down the production of cholesterol. The cholesterol hormones are our building hormones. There are growth hormones. There are repair hormones. There are anti-aging hormones. There are building hormones. They are our hormones that allow us to adjust to the environment correctly. They're epigenetic hormones. The cholesterol hormones turn genes on and off. Yes, the cholesterol hormones are epigen epigenetics at its finest. If you want to read a good book on epigenetics, read Dr. Wallach's book by, uh, with the same, uh, titled the same name, Epigenetics, History of Medicine, uh, ending with the scam of genetics or the so-called genetic theory. Because it's epigenetic. There are things that turn the genes on and off. And one of, those, one of the main things are the, the cholesterol hormones, the steroid hormones. They exert control over our genetics. If your doctor has given you uh, has prescribed a statin drug or told you to lower your cholesterol or, or scolded you about your low HDL or your high HDL, he has drank the Kool-Aid. He's practicing on you based on numbers and statistics and medical dogma, not biochemical logic and sensibility. But nothing says, nothing says drank the Kool-Aid more clearly and biochemical laziness or ignorance more than just willy-nilly prescribing statin drugs. But it's a little bit more complicated than that because there's a, well, there's a couple of important distinctions we've got to make. First of all, or a couple of important concepts. First of all, there's a distinction between biochemistry and clinical chemistry. Clinical chemistry is about lab tests and diagnostics. And lumping the two together creates a lot of health misery. Assuming that biochemistry is the same thing as clinical chemistry, assuming that our test scores really tell us about what's happening in our body or really tell us what's happening in our body relative to our diseases is really kind of, not only is it doesn't work, it's unfair. It's unfair to patients who deserve much better care than just being treated by numbers. Clinical chemistry is the chemistry of the clinic. It's the chemistry of the doctor's office. Clinical chemistry is based on diagnostics. It's based on the analysis of our bodily fluids and secretions. Clinical chemistry determines whether we're sick or not based on test scores. Biochemistry, on the other hand, is the, is the science of our chemistry. It's the science of our personal chemistry rather than the, than the chemistry of diagnosis. Biochemistry is about how our bodies work. Biochemistry is how the biochemicals in our body function. That's what health is about. Health is not about numbers. Health shouldn't be about test scores, how much, uh, how much cholesterol, how much, what our TSH is, or what our bone min mineral density is. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 
844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470 is their number. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You and I can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I can help you build your business. You can help change lives. Or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you desire. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, please head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're buying the Retinol uh, or retinol gel, you might want to consider tossing in the Omega-6 Healing Cream. They work really well together. And if you're looking for just one product, I would recommend the Truth Serum made with nearly 80% fat-soluble vitamin C. Never any filler, wax, emulsifier, preservatives, oils, silicon, water, anything you don't need or don't or skin doesn't want. All active and functional ingredients in Truth Treatment products. You can check them out at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay, got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. So clinical chemistry versus doctor versus uh, uh, versus biochemistry. Clinical chemistry is doctor's office chemistry. That's the chemistry of our fluids and our secretions and our numbers and our scores and our hormone levels. Biochemistry is the science of our chemistry, of our individual chemistry. It's based on something called biochemical individuality. We're all fingerprints, snowflakes, biochemical snowflakes. We all have our own biochemistry. And our biochemistry changes and fluctuates in response to the environment. <laughs> Clinical chemistry does not account for this. If you get a TSH score at 6 o'clock or, or say at, at noon in the afternoon on, on Tuesday, by 1 o'clock you may have a different TSH score. You may have a different TSH score at 2 o'clock or the next day, depending on what's going on in, in your world. Diagnostics... Uh, uh, clinical chemistry and diagnostics don't work. Biochemistry is about us. Clinical chemistry is about test scores. And we've been led to believe that health is about clinical. It's about our test scores. When it's not, it's about our chemistry, our personal chemistry, our biochemistry. It's a completely different science. Biochemistry is a completely different science in a way than clinical chemistry. Yeah, they're both based on how our bodies are working, but clinical chemistry is about reference ranges. Biochemistry is about our personal ranges, what's important for us. Biochemistry understands the interconnected nature of everything, the interconnected nature of, our, of how our bodies work, the interconnected nature of our bodies and our environment. Clinical chemistry is lazy chemistry. Clinical chemistry is when you take a test, uh, you take a blood test, you read the numbers, and you go to a book and see what, what you're supposed to do. It's lazy chemistry. You don't need to know anything. For doctors or for naturopaths, to rely on clinical chemistry is lazy medicine. To, to drug us, to, to take our test scores, our TSH, our blood sugar tests, our bone mineral density tests to determine whether we should be put on Fosamax or, or metformin is lazy medicine. It's a way of getting us plugged into the system. You get a diagnosis, you get plugged into the system. You, go, you have your test scores run based on the numbers, whether they're normal or whether they're high or whether they're low, which is all statistics, you get treated a certain way. Really, a trained monkey could do this. It doesn't take any medical intuition. You just look at test numbers and then the reference ranges and go to the book and see what dosage or drug to give, and then you get sent the bill. Medicine based on clinical, uh, on clinical chemistry is called functional medicine. If you ever heard that term, functional medicine, that's what functional medicine is about, test scores. And they consider it, doctors consider it to be very advanced because instead of just automatically giving you a drug, now they give it to you based on a test score. It doesn't matter. You're not a test score. You're not a statistic. We're individuals. And there's no high and there's no low and there's no normal. There is just what's right for us. And it's not, you know, it's not really advanced to be functional. Functional medicine is just test score medicine. Health and wellness is about humans. It's about people, not test scores, and there's no, there's no normal patients anyway. If your doctor understood biochemistry 
not only would he never give you a statin drug unless it was an absolute emergency, pretty much if your doctor understood biochemistry, really understood what was happening from a biochemistry perspective, and there's some doctors, doctors who do, they would never give you a drug or maybe an emergency drug. And they'd be using them very, very carefully. There certainly wouldn't be 4 billion prescriptions served in the United States of America, a country of 300 million people. And there wouldn't be people on 20 meds or 30 meds. And there are people on 20 meds and 30 meds. I've seen them. I've dispensed it. How could, in God's name could anybody ever understand what 30 or 20 or 10 or even 5 different medicines are doing in the body? Clearly, there's no way. They don't even test for that. They can't test for that. But just logic tells you it's not good. If you understand these things are poisons, and I'm not, I'm being specific here. These are poisons, literally poisons. You know that when you start mixing them up, if, you were, if you're practicing biochemistry, you know that if you start throwing those into the body, you're going to create havoc. Now, if you're practicing clinical chemistry, which is the chemistry of what you give for specific numbers, you won't know that. And there are, by the way, lots of doctors who don't use drugs and who are smart enough not to use drugs. And there are smart and savvy drug, uh, uh, medical professionals who's, who will always suggest you use vitamin C and vitamin E and the B complex and antioxidants and eat your vegetables when you're taking your drugs, with your drugs. Yes, even if they prescribe drugs, there are smart and savvy docs that know that vitamin C can mitigate the toxicity of the drugs. If you're on drugs now, get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You must get on it. If you're on a prescription drug or multiple prescription drugs now, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the nutrients in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can mitigate the toxicity of the drugs. Not only that, but when we're on drugs, we're burning through our nutrients, so deficiencies become likely. This whole notion of functional medicine or clinical chemistry medicine is not just about shortcuts, and it's not just about laziness. There's a sneakier thing here. There's a more insidious idea behind functional medicine and clinical chemistry medicine. It, it's a way of plugging us into the system. It's a way about entrenching the medical system. It allows the medical model to establish something called standards of care. Standards of care is actually a legal term. Standards of care for treating patients is mandated legally. But they're set, these standards, these standards of care, which really are ways that you have to treat patients, as the name implies, they're standard ways of treating patients. They're, they're set up by government committees and insurance companies, but they're mandated legally. You go to the doctor, he takes a blood test, and based on the results, he has to treat you a certain way, or he could lose his license, or worse. Standards of care represent the intersection of medicine and the law. And if doctors don't prescribe certain protocols based on their test results and standards of care, which are set up by medical boards and drug companies and, and government committees, if he doesn't follow these standards of care, guess what? He is legally liable for malpractice. He could easily lose his license. He could even go to jail. Standards of care, standards of care are regulated by the legal system. People of doctors have been imprisoned for not following standards of care. You think under this environment, any doctor is going to think to use vitamin C for cancer or vitamin C for, for arthritis or, or whatever? Of course not. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a break and come back with your phone calls at 844-236-6010. You're listening to The Bright Side. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the longevity products or the longevity business, we can help you. If you've got formulation questions or skin health questions, we can help you. And if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Head over to truthtreatments.com, and if you want to purchase any of our longevity products, you can check out my blog at criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com, and you can also uh, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, let's see here. I want to I want to talk a little bit more about standards of care. I think it's really important when it comes to understanding why we're not getting any healthier, even though we got so many doctors, more doctors and more diagnostics and more, more medical devices and 
more uh, health protocols than ever before, and we're sicker than ever before. And a lot of that has to do with this concept of standards of care, which are ways that we, legal ways, ways that are mandated legally and, and enforced criminally at times that determine how we're going to be taken care of. And who sets these guidelines? The people selling us the drugs. The people selling us the insurance. The people selling us the devices. There's something, there's something not right here. And this is evidenced by the fact that even though we have standards of care, the third leading cause of death in this country is medical negligence, which standards of care is supposed to be taken care of. So clearly we got a problem. And it's not just a philosophical problem. It's a problem of tragedy. As anyone who's dealing with the autoimmune disease or cancer or, or even something as seemingly benign as acne or, or, or eczema or psoriasis, who's interacted with the medical model endlessly and not gotten any better, will tell you it is a tragedy. And it doesn't have to be that way. Once we understand that health is about biochemistry, not lab tests, and your diagnosis doesn't matter, We'll all be way better off for it, and there'll be a lot of unemployed doctors, unfortunately. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, and we'll continue this discussion tomorrow. We'll also talk about uh, we'll talk about one of my all-time favorite calming hormones. Yes, it's a cholesterol hormone, super duper anti-aging hormone, and we'll talk about that uh, as we continue on the bright side, talking about fats and skin and the ketogenic diet and and uh, cholesterol hormone health. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to our first call of the day. I can find him here. Let's go to Teresa in Idaho. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning. How you doing? Well, not so good. Okay, what's <laughs> um, up? Yeah, I'm generally a very healthy person, and about, oh, I guess about three weeks ago, I got bronchitis. Okay. Uh, that's about the only uh, thing I deal with that I have dealt with. Uh, so it went from a cold into bronchitis, and um, I, I am a longevity distributor, so I was using everything I knew to use. <laughs> I had been traveling, you know, okay. um, on an airplane and been in a convention, and so I don't know if just... I, I don't know how I got it, but anyway, it went from a cold drop down into my lungs, and I uh, couldn't seem to get rid of that, but I got rid of all the flu so, symptoms. And, good for you. Um, I was, so you just I still have some resi- good. You still have some residual congestion. Yeah, well, what happened, um, I was, I came to the end of it, um, was feeling pretty good, started doing a lot of yard work, and um, I think breathing in some... Uh, some brush <clears throat> that I was uh, doing some a little bit of landscaping and I was breathing in that and I had the next day uh, next couple of days I was flat on my back again I said I, right. I was we put a little burden on the body probably um, here's the deal you need a couple of you need to start doing a couple of things okay if you're doing longevity I assume you're doing the healthy star pack but a couple other things you're going to want to throw in okay vitamin C is a major adaptogenic vitamin it helps the body deal with stresses and deficiencies are very common. The BTT's got a good dose of it, but you'd probably be smart to do a bunch more, a uh, thousand milligrams every few hours. Don't go into, the worst that could happen is you get in some cramping or bloating or just feeling gassy. If that happens, then back down on your dose or do it a little less frequently. But that's a major adaptogenic uh, a vitamin that helps the body adapt to circumstances, whatever those circumstances may be. And, and many of us are deficient. The next thing to think of when it comes to the immune system, which is what you're dealing with here, is zinc. And again, many people are deficient in zinc. You're not going to get a big dose of it in any of the longevity products, unfortunately. So you need to throw in 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. That's a must-have for everybody who has a body, which is everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's unbelievably important, and deficiencies, as I say, are common. Vitamin A is the, is the vitamin version of zinc. Vitamin A and zinc go together. They're both healing and stress management vitamins. They're both involved with immunity. And vitamin A deficiencies are also very common. 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day is a good place to be. I'd be using the ultimate selenium if you're not already. That's also important for helping the body fight infections particularly to make something or to, to activate something called glutathione. And speaking of glutathione, make sure you're using glutamine and whey protein. If you can handle whey protein, if you can't, then find another source of protein, uh, maybe some glutamine powder, well, both very important for helping the body fight stresses and fight infections, etc. Drinking lots of water is in your interest. Uh, and then also probiotics are also in your interest. Please, for Teresa and everybody listening, do not underestimate the unbelievable 
importance of probiotics, good bacteria, when it comes to the immune system, when it comes to how the body fights disease and fights infections. Okay, so get on the Ultimate Nightly Essence. I'd be doing vegetable juices all day long. The fiber in the vegetable juice will help the probiotics in the intestine and the phytonutrients in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, ve the vegetables will have protective effects. So lots of vegetable juices. And then if I could just tell you a couple more quickies that might help you, uh, vitamin E is very important for the lungs and NAC, NAC is very important for the lungs. 400 milligrams of NAC and 400 IU of vitamin E. That's how I would be treating it. Make sure you get lots of long, luscious rest, too. The body heals when it's okay. being rested. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you, Ben. I had a real quick question, if you don't mind, sorry. Um, I, it got so bad that uh, the coughing part that um, I, I had held off going to the doctor, and I, but finally I did because I thought I didn't want this to go into a pneumonia. So I went. Um, they prescribed something called azithromycin. Yes. I, I only took three because I am so against taking anything. And well, you shouldn't do that. If you start antibiotics, you want to make sure you're taking them all. What ends up happening is bacteria can become resistant. So you always want to finish your course of antibiotics once you start them. Um, okay. That's just rule of thumb. Uh, however, now that, you're, now that you're off of it, it becomes extremely, extremely important that you take care of your intestinal bacteria. Uh, the erythromycin or the zithromycin, as you say, can kill off the uh, intestinal bacteria, but, but the way we fight the bad guys is with the good guys, and the good guys are the ones that live in the gut, and making sure you have not just taking the probiotics, but also providing an environment where they can thrive is also important. Last but not least, the Fucoid Z can also help you if you're using the longevity products. You might want to throw that in. All right, I got to motivate about, Teresa. Oh, you have something else? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, this is went into. I know you have other people. This yeah. is went into some severe ear pain that's going yeah. down now the side of my um, throat. That's called progressive. And, that's called it's getting progressively worse. So that me that all that means is that uh, everything I just told you it becomes extra important that you do it. It's just progressing, okay. and that's not good. Okay. 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 All, all right. right. Well, God bless you. Good luck, Teresa. I hope everything Thank works you. out. Thank okay, you. Take care. Thank you. All right, let's go to Oregon and welcome Carl. Is this Carl the Truth Raider? Yes, it is. Good morning, Dan. Carl. What's up, man? We got a commercial coming up, real quick. What's, okay. Oh, never mind. I got to hold you on. I got to okay, hold you on. I'll talk okay. to you on the other side then. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we are back on the bright side, 844-236-6010. Carl, the Truth Raider, what's going on, man? Hey, thank you, uh, Ben, for having me on the show today. I mean, it, this is perfect. This segues perfectly into what I wanted to talk about this morning. The, the young lady from Idaho, Teresa, talking about this bronchitis, bronchitis. or this chronic flu that's going around. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of this phenomenon? I was warned about this five years ago. I don't know if you agree with this or not. But there was a phenomenon known as the chemtrail flu. Uh, you know, I haven't heard of it specifically, but it makes sense. It's particulate matter, and that's not a good thing in the air, particulate matter, especially right. the kind of stuff they're using. For, that's active material. I think they're doing it for weather is what I heard, but I'm not exactly sure why they're doing it. But the point is it's very active material, and you're breathing it. So it makes perfect sense, even though I haven't heard of that specifically. Right. It, since people have declined and uh, more and more less taking the flu shot, the seasonal flu shot, because of its obvious dangers, they're, they, I was told by a friend of mine five years ago that what they're doing is they're putting a vaporized flu shot in the atmosphere. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. well, you know, I can't speak to that, but I wouldn't put it past anybody. I wouldn't, right, you know. and I remember five years ago, let me get my testimony really quick here, and I'll, I'll let you jump onto other callers, but five years ago, we were having a hot September um, beautiful weather day and it was nice and hot and they were heavily spraying and a friend of mine told me just a few days before that that they're doing this spraying a vaporized flu shot in the air so you need to protect yourself pick up on your vitamin c take chlorella you know the, the chlorella is great you're right chlorella, spirulina you know, chlorella all that and you're beyond tangy yeah, Don't forget you beyond that. That's before I even uh, before I had uh, the product. It's, it's helped since then, but I'm having difficulty right now. As a matter of fact, I've had this flu for uh, cold and flu. I, I called you in before about this, and it goes away, and it feels like it's all cleared up, and then suddenly you feel it in the head again. You feel weak, and you feel kind of sick in the sinuses again. It comes back, hey. it comes, and it goes. Anyway, in conclusion, of what I'm saying, they sprayed heavily, and I hadn't been around anybody that's been sick. And as a matter of fact, I was in, I was I stayed home for a couple of three days. I didn't even socialize with anybody. But within two days from the time that they sprayed that stuff, I came down with a worse flu that I've had in nine All right. years. All right. I'm not sure if that would be chemtrails or not, but, but you know, your point's definitely well taken. Boost your immune system. 
Yeah. That's the best thing so, to do. I think it's legitimate. I think everyone's doing this. It's amazing that somebody from the Northwest, as well as my uh, as well as myself, from the, the Sister State of Idaho is reporting. Yeah, interesting. This, so. Interesting. That's, that's, All right, yeah. Carl. Have a beautiful right. day, man. Take you care, too. brother. Take care. All right. Uh, Rick in Oklahoma. What's going on, man? Uh, yeah, uh, Ben. Uh, I've, I uh, uh, got tired of taking antibiotics for sinus infections, and so I gave this uh, colloidal uh, silver a try, and uh, it turned my face and my fingernails bluish gray. Ooh. And, uh, Ooh, that's, lost, that's a, yeah. yeah. That's a, a classic job. reaction. I, I can't get a job because everybody thinks I'm sick just looking at me. You Are know? you serious, Rick? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm serious. I, I've been taking tons of vitamins. No, no, that's a that's Colorado. called Argeria. That's a very yeah. rare thing. That's Argeria, right. they call it, right? That's what it's called, yeah. yeah. But I, yeah. I can't find anything. Uh, this is hap- This is about happened two years ago. And uh, I just need I need some help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that's really rare. Uh, how much will you take? You got to take a lot of colloidal silver for that to happen. No, I was taking it like I said on the bottle. But okay, well that's basically fair, silver. That's I'm basically silver. I'm blonde-headed, blue eyes, and fair skinned, and they sit on the internet that that's uh, usually the people that it affects like this. I've, I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. I've heard a lot about it, and basically, what you're looking, what you're looking at, is silver, I and mean, that's the color of silver. Now, um, uh, you need, do need to typically take it for a really long time for that to happen. Are we taking it? How long are you taking that for? Uh, about about four months. Okay, well, that'll be long enough. I just just took it, though, when my sinuses were hurting real bad, you know. Yeah. You know, you could try to drain some of that stuff off or magnetically chelate. You ever hear this thing called chelation therapy? Yeah, I've heard heard about it, yeah. That's what I'd be doing. You could magnetically attract some of that stuff out of your skin. Uh, That's basically what you're going to want to do is is pull that out because the silver just deposits. you got little pieces of silver in there, and it's not something that you're going to be able to take care of with just plain nutrition, but chelation may help. Vitamin C is a chelating agent. You might want to try high doses of vitamin C. I'd be going the full-out route, though. Find a naturopath, get something called EDTA chelation, and see what happens. That's Yeah, they inject this stuff in your veins, in your uh, blood, called EDTA. And uh, EDTA, yes, EDTA, okay. and uh, it acts as a magnet to pull things out. It's actually a great thing to do just for good health, but it may be you may be able to pull some of that silver out using chelation therapy. All right, and vit- oh, a couple other things: vitamin C is a chelating agent. Algae's are chelating agents. Something called NAC is a chelating agent. I take, sulfur, yeah, I take that. Sulfur, selenium, these are all nutrients that will chelate. But I'd be going the full full out route personally. Okay, uh, intravenous. That is- intravenous, correct, right in the blood. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rick. Take care, buddy. All right. Yeah, I have. I've heard. I've read about it. I've never really actually seen it in person, and I've never even talked to anybody who had that. So that's unusual. Argeria, it's called. It's when your skin turns gray blue, and you're actually looking at the insoluble silver that's deposited in the mucous membranes and and in the skin as well. All right, let's go to Lee in New Jersey. What's up, hey. Lee? How, how you doing, man? A pleasure, as always. Pleasure, as always. What's going on? Pleasure's um, mine. A couple things. I have to give yes. a testimonial to the uh, ultimate bioluminality essence. Yes. It's like, you, you, weren't, you weren't kidding. It is honestly the best probiotic supplement. To anybody listening looking for a quality supplement to resolve digestive issues along with other things right away, yeah, and I'm saying like really expedite the process. This now let's let, let's stuff. review here, Lee, because you got a good story. Your sister had Crohn's, I think you said, right, or celiac. What did she have? Crohn, Crohn's disease. All right, so I sent her, her I sent her a nightly essence, and and I'm, yeah. I assume you're talking and about your she, sister, right? She was, yeah, she was. Well, she was a little bit resistant to take it. Yeah, she was a non-believer. She, she was a non-believer, right? She was a skeptic. Yeah. Okay, and so tell us what happened. And and it's it's just resolving all because she still eats like crap. But it's resolving all the digestive issues. It's almost like it's absorbing it. What does she and say? I guess she says she feels better. Does she say she it's a, like it's better. a miracle? Praise God, or does she say, "Oh, whatever." Is she ser- well, Is she impressed? Yeah. It's, yeah, she's impressed. But I mean, when you're when you're so consumed by the medical model for so many years and you're in hospital, that's why I sent you a freebie so I could show you, so I could show her. That's what I want her to see. You're right. You're right. And I got my father's drinking the uh, the BTT flavored Kool Aid now. And it's all over your truth, your truth serums. 
because he's very he's very aesthetically oriented. So did you get your true serum? Yeah, yeah. My father ordered, uh, ordered the the true serum. And he, did he, he get it yet? Did he start order. using it yet? He started using it a, um, a little bit. He's not. He's seeing some results, but now he wants the retin A. Uh, okay. Put on. Just to put. Okay, on, good. Uh, Tell him to order that one okay, as well. Quick. Yes, sir. Ben, What's going quick, on? Uh, I, I know the music's coming soon. It's like, uh, really soon. I'm at the, Grammy, I'm at the Oscars here. Um, <laughs> my question is about like the DTT. When you have all these these powdered flavored drinks, and you have you have things like peach, it's the peach infused or whatever. And let's say somebody has a sensitivity um, to one of these fruits or vegetables. How are they are they going to be affected by? Unlikely. A trial and error. It's trial and error, but it's unlikely because what you're tasting is flavorings. And when people are allergic to things, it's not typically the flavorings. Right? It's, it's components in the fruit and the vegetables. It's actually, when you have a reaction to fruits and vegetables, you're actually not reacting to the, fruits, to the components in the fruits and vegetables as much as you're reacting to something that the body, the body's tweaking those and creating something that you're allergic to. It's making its own allergens in essence. So it's not the flavoring components that are doing that for the most part. And that's why I say unlikely, but trial and error is always the way you have to go with these things. Okay, so if someone's starting with the fruits and uh, not fruits, I'm sorry, fruits and vegetables are no longer in the same category as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but for the vegetable juices, what would you say are the most benign vegetables? Celery, high water ones. High water, the ones that have lots of water in them are the most benign. The ones that have more fats in them are going to be more active. Uh, fatty material, as you probably, if you've been listening to this program for the last couple of weeks or even month or so, the fatty stuff sticks around. The watery stuff is flushed out. So it's the fatty component. So vegetables like, say, spinach maybe or kale, or your cruciferous vegetables. Uh, these are going to be the ones that are more problematic. The, your celeries and lettuces, uh, uh, if that's the right word, lettuces and celery and cucumber, those tend to be more benign. And they're also very, they're much, well, I don't want to say they're much more, but they have lots of good electrolytes in them. They're all good. They're all good. But the ones that are more watery are going to be the ones that are more benign. To start with the water-soluble. Start with the watery, super watery ones. Celery and cucumber yeah. tend to be the, and lettuce. Okay, okay, and then last thing is uh, vit vitamin A. Yeah. Vitamin A, zinc, it clear, it clears up my skin in like in a, like such a quick amount of time. I know, I know. That's a sign of deficiency, by the way. When you notice quick results, that's a sign that you really needed the stuff. Lee, I got to move. That's the music. I, I apologize for letting you go, but you can always call back tomorrow. And if I left you on hold, I apologize to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air every day, Monday through Friday. 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And if you're interested in joining the Longevity team, my Longevity team, call 866-735-2470 or sign up right from criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or benfuchsarchives.com, or brightsideben.com. All right, we'll be back at you tomorrow with more awesome health information. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 